welcome back to another video uh, today I will be doing flashlight only uh, triggers with just this is not going to be a role play anything it's just going to be moving the light around and having you follow the light while I make different patterns and do different things with the flashlight uh, and yeah, that's just, that'll be it um, I've seen many, uh, many comments in my videos talking about how much you all like the, uh, flashlight, and I would have to agree, I really, really like this flashlight. It's, uh, it's not too bright or anything, it's honestly, I think, the perfect brightness. Um, I have seen a lot of videos of, cre of creators using flashlights that just completely just blow out the camera and it, uh, it, it's a little hard to watch sometimes. Uh, so flashlights like this where it's, where it's much like softer, easier on the eyes. That's what I prefer, um, and I'm willing to bet a, a lot of you also prefer that based off the comments I've seen about it, but uh, I've also seen quite a few comments about wanting longer videos, so I'm going to try to make this a longer video than usual. Uh, the thing with making longer videos, for me at least, is uh, it can be hard to find the time to actually sit down and make a longer video, like just recording it, uh, and then on top of that editing it, uh, because I'm not super used to editing yet, uh, I'm still learning, like, how to actually edit, uh, which is why my edits are kind of simple, uh, I just do simple fades between takes if I mess up, um, Sometimes I don't, uh, I don't have any fades if it's a shorter video because I can do it in one take. But, uh, yeah, that's why my edits are simple. But, uh, what was I talking about? Longer videos. But, uh, when it comes to making longer videos, it takes even more time to edit those. And then rendering them can take a while. So... That's that's the, probably the main reason why I haven't been focusing on, focusing on making longer videos. Um, like there's one video I have on my channel. It's like 44 minutes or something like that. That is the longest video I've made so far. Probably going to be the longest video that I will make uh, for a while. Um, just because of how long that took to record. Um, and then I had to go, I had to throw it into, um, DaVinci Resolve, which is what I used to edit, and just go through the entire video, make sure the audio was fine the whole time, so yeah, it takes a long time for me to do that, since I don't exactly know what I'm doing, although I am getting better at editing, um, it doesn't take nearly as long for me to, uh, for me to edit as it did before. Um, so that's good at least, but I will try to make this video maybe like 15 minutes, I'll try at least, 15 minutes at least, uh, maybe 10, I'd say 10 minutes at least, uh, I'm gonna try to aim for 15, but if not, it'll probably, it might, it, it'll be no shorter than 10 minutes, but, uh, yeah. That, that's mainly why uh, I haven't really done too many longer videos to answer the question for, or that question for everyone who's asked about it. Um, because like a few minutes ago before I started filming this, this video, um, I got a comment, a notification for a comment, uh, asking me to do longer videos. So that's what this video is probably going to be going to be part 
longer video, but flashlight only trigger, and also part just talking. Because um, I also got another comment today about how I should do a talking video where it's just talking, no roleplay, anything, just talking. Um, and I don't, I responded to it. I don't know if I was super clear with my response though, but one of the reasons I don't uh, do many of those, I just do primarily roleplay, is because roleplay videos are easier for me because I could either script it or I can kind of improv based off what I'm doing. Like if I'm doing this, I could be like, oh, just follow the light or look at my nose and let me know when it leaves or stuff like that. Um, so I can kind of just play off of like what I'm actually doing in the video. Um, along with like my knowledge of other videos that I have seen so I can kind of take inspiration from those. Um, but uh, yeah, that's why I mainly do role plays because they're easier. And when it comes to just talking constantly, uh, I, I don't know if it's super obvious in this video, but I'm not exactly the best at that. Because um, it can be hard for me to come up with things to talk about. So, like, as I'm talking, I'll just, all of a sudden, I won't know what to say once I finish the thought. And um, we'll just have a long, long moment of silence. Um, or just me just constantly saying, uh, because I don't know what else to go with, uh, what I was saying. So, I don't know if it's too obvious in this video. I know I, I might have had a couple moments already where I just didn't know what to say, so things kind of didn't make sense. That's another thing. Whenever I just, like, continuously talk, um, whenever I continuously talk, and then, like, again, when I finish a thought, things just don't make sense because I don't know where I am going with what I'm saying sometimes. It's like, I just keep talking and it's like, that doesn't make sense. And then I'll uh, backtrack and then get confused myself even more, uh, which could result in who I'm talking to being confused. So yeah, that's, that's why I do role plays mainly because they're much, much easier for me to, uh, to make because, uh, especially if it's one that I script, which I haven't done many scripts, because I know, for the most part, the roleplays I've done are ones that I've watched many times. Uh, I've, I've watched many times myself, so I kind of have an idea of what to, I can say, or like what to say, and stuff like that. Um, like, what to do, at least. And then that helps me with what to say. I kind of just improv all my uh, videos, even though I have absolutely no experience in improv, and I'm not exactly the best when it comes to talking, but I've watched so many uh, roleplay ASMR videos that I like to think I have a decent understanding of uh, how they go. So, yeah, that, like I said, <laughs> I'm doing it now. I don't know what to say. I don't know how to end that thought. Uh, that's also why a lot of my videos endings like the endings of my outros and stuff might not always be the best because especially when it comes to endings that's where I kind of fall apart the most um like when I'm trying to tell a story in a role play or something um it I, I never know how to end things it always it's always feels super awkward to me and I don't know why um it should be simple but for some reason outros are just uh just a little difficult for me so yeah while I'm doing this just go ahead and just follow the light just follow it follow it around as I make patterns maybe like a star I don't know if it would actually be a star because uh, I can't see like where I'm drawing I don't know if it's actually a good star or not but what about just like a circle? There we go. Just follow the uh, the circles, little little circles here. But uh, I do read every comment. Um, I try to respond to every comment. I respond to most comments. Um, I like most comments. I end up giving like, hearts to most comments. Um, so I I really do appreciate all the comments that I've gotten, all the suggestions. Um, I may end up cutting back on the number of suggestions I take for the uh, time being because I have currently, you know what, 
Let me see if I can bring it up and show you. On my phone, every time I got a uh, suggestion, I write it down on my phone. And I have uh, a few suggestions there um, on, on my list that I want to get done before I take more uh, suggestions from you guys. So I'm kind of behind on what I want to do. So if you do leave a suggestion, thank you. I really appreciate it. But I may or may not get to it at the moment because I'm behind on what I want to do. And that kind of comes back to my point about the uh, editing taking a while because I'm so behind on recording the videos and just actually recording the, uh, the recording part of making the videos. I'm so behind on that part that when I get around to editing them, I have so many videos that I'm going to have to edit, it's, uh, it's going to take a while for me, so uh, that that's another reason why I may slow down on the number of suggestions I take, if I take any at all at the moment. So I do appreciate them, you feel free to just keep leaving suggestions, just know that I might not get to it, and I am uh, sorry for that, but I kind of got to make time for all the other things that I uh, have taken from ideas left in the comments so I hope you can understand and forgive me for that but I do appreciate it all appreciate all the support all the comments all the uh, subscriptions all the subscribers and stuff like that um, I am at what am I like 14 1400 Subscribers right now, 1,430, somewhere under at the time of recording this, so I do appreciate all that. Thank you all for the uh, support, it's been amazing. I never never would have thought that I've been, uh, I would have had this many subscribers this fast, like I said in my 1,000 subscriber and my 100 subscriber video. Um, I don't know what my next milestone video will be, like what the milestone will be at, how many subscribers I'll be at uh, when I make it, um, or what what uh, number I'll make it at, I should say. That, that'll be a better way of wording it. I don't know if it'll be 2,000, 3,000 or what, but uh, I don't even know what I'm going to make for it, honestly. Um, I'll figure something out, though. I'll try to think of something. Uh, maybe maybe I'll take suggestions for that. If you have any ideas for what I should do for a milestone video, uh, let me know and I'll consider it. I might that's not promising that I'll do uh, your idea for sure it's just I don't know what to do so uh, any idea I'll consider doing and I'll think about which ones will be the best for me to do which one I like the most and stuff that uh, stuff like that so yeah I hope you enjoyed this video this is a bit different than my usual videos um, if you did uh, let me know what you thought uh, let me know what you, what you think I should do for another milestone, what number, uh, subscriber count I should do the next milestone at. Uh, I would, I'm thinking 2,000, but that's, like, so soon, I feel like, just based off what I'm at now, I'm at 1,400, so it's not far off. Uh, but that's so soon that, like, I feel like I would have to have an idea pretty soon for that, and again, like I said, I don't know, so yeah. Leave, like, leave a comment about what you think I should do for a, another milestone video. Uh, and I'll consider some of the ideas. Uh, yeah, it, it, like I said before, this is my outro. I don't know what to do for outros, but I'll see you in the next video whenever that may be. Um, yeah, I'll just uh, I'll see you then.